And of course, we have, uh, you know, 300 widows we place on salary every month of 20,000 Naira. We pay them every month. <laughs> Somebody told us that majority of Okada riders in our nature are from a Bonny state. And we got angry. And we challenged. And so we had to buy 400 kekena pep and send to Anicha and collected back their keke, you know, back to Ebony State. And uh, we have listed another 1,000 of them that we are going to empower in the weeks ahead. We also got another set of Lagos workers from Ebony State, and we gave them a total of 140 million. And they have seen return to Ebony State, and they are working, you know, doing very well in their business. And we also took all the women who are not from Ebony State, whether you are from federal, you know, civil service, and you are willing to do agriculture. And they all came together, and we empower them with a sum of 18 million naira. Of course, we've told you about 50 million, which we use to lift our people medically every month under the welfare program. We've told you about the 2 billion that we also took as loan, which we use to empower people, you know, in the agricultural sector. And uh, we are partnering with uh, Bank of Industry, you know, whereby we gave them two billion, and they are going to add two billion to make it possible for any of our people that wants to engage in uh, agriculture or, you know, commerce or uh, development of industry to assess the Bank of Industry to um, get this loan at six percent and uh, a period of five years. And of course, we appointed over 600 users, technical assistants and senior technical assistants. And what have we done? We want this youth to learn governance. And we also clean off you know, the street of our youth in terms of idleness. And these youth are also engaged in agricultural you know, program. They attend government programs. They are also part of our security. And uh, I know very well that the security agencies are very happy with the youth who are engaged in security keeping in this state. And for this, we're very grateful. Our crime rate here in Bony State is tending to minus. And this is because we have engaged our youth. And of course, of late, you know, uh, an NGO, an international NGO, these statistics of uh, states by states that engage youth in governance. And Bony State came first as, uh, you know. Uh, of course, you can see my deputy and you can see our wives. They are all very young people. And uh, you know, as young as governor himself, you know, so we are raising youth in our state. Of course, when we came on board, traditional rulers were earning five thousand naira. They were going on bikes, and we say it cannot be a born state. Confidence building—that's part of our mission. And so we raised their salaries to hundred thousand every traditional ruler per month, and we bought one hundred and thirty. Jeeps, brand new Jeeps, tier rubber, and we give to these 130 traditional rulers. <laughs> we talk about our civil servants. The first year in our office, we paid civil servants 100% of their salary as 13th month. And the second, second month, we paid them 50% of the salary in December. And uh, this year, in December, we are going to not only pay them something that they will be very happy with, we also pay them in December and in January. You know, that's what we do. And the good news is that we have saved 1.4 billion, which we are giving to 140 communities. And it's operation, choose the kind of project you want to do to lift your community. And uh, this we are going to flag off in the month of December. So you will see our traditional rulers town union president and some stakeholders in the various communities in Ebony State that are going to be benefiting, they are going to be working, and the local government chairman and coordinators will be supervising them. And uh, we have a mark 13,000 youth to empower them from the month of November, and each of them is going to get between 100 and 250,000, you know, to prepare for next, you know, it's going to be grant for next uh, agricultural season. This is very, very important. And uh, one of the things I consider that we have done most is the peace of the state. It is the settlement of disputes. 
when we came on board we saw that spiritually our state was going down because there was so much spilling of blood especially you know the crisis in Ezelo and when we were campaigning we told our people that first thing we we're going to do is to ensure that there is peace in Ezelo even beyond the Bonyans being killed in that spot some people that are not Ebonians were killed and so it was a major concern for the entire nation of Nigeria and Ebony State in particular and so we engaged and set up a committee headed by Father Ibrahim Wali when we came on board and we engaged all the people of uh, Ezilo and Ezra Ezilo you know into dialogue meaningful dialogue and they saw our sincerity and saw our genuineness and today we created one autonomous community for the Ezra people which we call Izo Izo uh, Autonomous Community and created an autonomous community for the Ezilo people which we call Amaze Community and so these people are living in perfect peace. Anyone can go to the other place and sleep. The highway is safe. The people are very happy. And October 1st, which we have also declared our peace day, we are going to be celebrating these people. And also what we have done is that the, our brothers and sisters from Izi that were brutally displaced in our centenary city by the past administration. And yes, the government may be right because all lands belong to government. But the first assignment of a governor, government is the welfare of the people, security, you know, safety and welfare of the people. And so even if that land is not, you know, legitimately their own, you do not to have to undermine the welfare of the people. And so we have gone back to them and we've apologized to them. All cases in court withdrawn. And we have reassigned them some plots, about 1,800 plots of land. We are putting roads there now. We, have de 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 we are demarcating it. <laughs> and uh, we are saving money that we can assist them to start some building there. We are also saving money that we give to the Ezaizilo and Ezilo people, you know, to start building in the same locations, you know. And we've settled other cases between local government, between communities, and this is very important for us because in the atmosphere of peace that we have, then uh, the beauties of our state can thrive. And for this, we are very happy. Uh, we may not go ahead in areas of uh, you know, um, other sectors, but in the area of uh, you know, uh, my wild pet project, which is soccer, and we need a lot of soccer in this state, but uh, we, we do soccer partly, we also do projects partly. And so my wife is on her own, and uh, without government assistance and government patronage, she's been, you know, improving, you know, the well-being of uh, Bonyu women, you know, tremendously. You know, on a monthly basis, she intervenes with widows, intervenes with the, you know, vulnerable uh, children and women, and assists them. She just passed a law on, uh, you know, female uh, genital mutilation, and the first in the country which the uh, WHO is very happy and commended very highly. And uh, <laughs> her office, you know, also together with the Office of Women Affairs Commissioner, they go ahead picking vulnerable children and they bring them into a remind home. These children are being shown, sent to school and their fees are paid. Those who are sick, you know, are being taken care of medically. And, um, you know, she has tremendously done very, very well. And even in child education, where there is a very vigorous campaign to ensure that every gay child is sent to school and also to teach our women, you know, the safe way, you know, of motherhood. So for this, I'm very grateful to her and her office and all her team, uh, together with the uh, wife of the deputy governor, her direct assistant and commissioner for women affairs, and all the great women of Ebony people, uh, the focal person, you know, I commend all of you very highly. You have really uplifted the plight of women in our state.